about speciation. We know that during sexual reproduction, the offspring inherits traits of the parent and also inherit some variations as well. Due to these variations, there are developments of certain characters in the organism which are different from that of parents. In this way, accumulation of small changes in the characteristics of organisms from generation to generation are called microevolution. Microevolution results in small changes to the normal characteristics of the organism, but still different organisms of same population can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. A group of organisms in which all organisms can reproduce and give birth to fertile offspring is called species. Human beings is a species known as Homo sapien. You can gather data about some of the species and write their scientific names. Sometimes, due to various reasons, existing species of organisms get divided into two groups that cannot interbreed with each other and cannot produce fertile offspring. In such a situation, we say that new species have been developed from the existing species. We call it speciation. Let us discuss various factors Responsible for speciation Natural Selection There are variations in the population of an organism. Many changes occur in the environment of the organism. In such a changing environment, only those organisms survive that are well adapted to the changing environment. Those organisms which do not have favorable adaptation get slowly eliminated. Those who survive transfer these beneficial traits to their offsprings. Due to accumulation of such changes over generations, the population of organism evolves. Sometimes, the new generation becomes so different that it can't interbreed with old generation. So, we say that a new generation has emerged, that is, speciation has happened. Genetic Drift In the population of an organism, there are different alleles for any trait. The set of alleles present in the organism of a species is called its gene pool. Due to events like natural calamity, there are changes in the frequency of alleles which happen solely by chance. We call it Genetic drift. Due to this, the new population becomes genetically different from the old population. Often, the evolution of the new population takes place such that there is development of new species. If the population of the organism is large, then there is negligible impact of random events on the allele's frequency. Hence, in such cases, we cannot see genetic drift. Geographical Isolation Due to various reasons, such as availability of food, the population of organism gets divided into two parts. Many times, geographical situations, such as development of deep trench, obstruct the contact between the two population. We say that, the two populations are separated geographically. Due to this, the organisms of two groups cannot reproduce with each other and thus the genes of one group cannot be transferred to the other. If the geographical conditions are different, then the natural selection and evolution in two populations takes place differently. They become different from each other over generations. Many times, this results in development of two different species. In these three situations, speciation can happen in different ways 
like changes in DNA or change in number of chromosomes. Then the gametes of both groups cannot fertilize, thus resulting in speciation. Thus, today we have learned about speciation. speciation. Thank you.